A Butler County school bus driver who lost control of her bus in a construction zone was found not guilty today of careless driving. Paul Martino is live in Evans City where he learned more details about the crash. Paul? Yeah, Christine, the uh, bus driver and her attorney convinced the district magistrate here that it was an oncoming truck and a poorly designed construction zone that caused that accident that ended up injuring six students last September. Sandra Bowler's bus went sliding down a hill as it drove through a construction zone on Route 228 in Adams Township. That was last September. Fortunately, there were only minor injuries. That lady had been driving for years and years, had never had an accident. I think she was being, uh, there's no way, she was being as careful as careful could be. An emotional bowler was in front of a district justice Thursday, refuting claims by Adams Township Police that her careless driving caused the accident. She testified that she was swerving to avoid an oncoming tractor trailer when she lost control. A witness confirmed it. The judge found her not guilty. I think she did the best she could. I think had she not handled it the way she did, it could have been worse. Her lawyer argued that the construction zone was poorly designed, not safe for wide vehicles. And to make his point, we learned that another school bus accident occurred there months earlier. That bus took out the guardrail, and it was never repaired. It was all made worse because there was no guide rail there in the area right afterwards. Why was there not a guide rail? Because another school bus had taken that guide rail out weeks or months before, and nobody bothered to fix it. Bowler dodged our camera and declined to talk about the accident, but her attorney spoke in her behalf. She loves those kids. She loved her job. She felt terrible that she was even present for anything where kids might have got hurt. Bowler retired from school bus driving right after that accident. By the way, she drove a school bus for 14 years. That was her only accident. Reporting live in Evans City, Paul Martino, KDKA News.